five nights a week, we turn on the TV, and a dark-haired, handsome superhero is there keeping us informed and making us laugh. <laughs> but you won't find bigger Jimmy Kimmel fans than this couple from the Valley. Do you guys watch every night? Yes. Yeah. And we TV with. Do you ever miss? No. You've never missed a show? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't miss his little league games. Yeah, who would ask who are you talking to? I'm talking to Jimmy Kimmel's parents who couldn't be more in awe of their son. Always knew he was special. Joan and Jim Kimmel realized early on nothing would ever be out of Jimmy's reach. It's pretty he, he was reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and other things like that. The day old. before his second birthday. Second birthday, yeah. Things came easily for the pint-sized fashionista. Joan had him dressed as John John Kennedy all the time. <laughs> Short Shorts pants and Nisa. In the middle of the winter in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, it could be freezing out. No one in the Kimmel family had any idea a sweet-faced nine-year-old Jimmy would one day reign over the boulevard they came to visit in 1977. Ladies and gentlemen. 35 years later, Jimmy Kimmel. he would pose again. This time, with his own star. My parents brought me here to Hollywood to visit the Walk of Fame. I never imagined that they would leave me here to fend for myself. We said something like, maybe one day you'll have your star. And it came true. But even before Jimmy Kimmel became the superstar we all know and love, he still shined brightly. I got a phone call from the school saying they were going to test our daughter for genius and Jimmy was so proud of her and the teacher said you know what you should have that too right they both right, tested yeah. genius yeah they're smart kids in fact there's another unique dimension you'd never know about this budding comedian he thought he'd be an artist yeah he was developing a portfolio for that and then David Letterman came into his life mm. changed when everything he just worships him Letterman created a new approach to the talk show. In that same undeniable love, support, and compassion, it's what sets apart his show, giving it a heart that's bound to beat strong for years to come. That was an awesome that's story, good. huh? Yeah. Looks, looks the same as he did when he yeah, was little, does. right? That was Stephanie Hawkridge reporting it. Despite his genius status, he never graduated from college. He dropped out of Arizona State University. I didn't know his dad was Wolf Blitzer, though. I ah, had no he did idea. He kind of looked yeah. like him.